This is Odu Maths. Please, let's look at this example. Given that the determinant of this matrix is equal to negative 37, find the value of x. Okay, before we continue, let's go for this short commercial break. Okay, let's assume we have a matrix A, which is a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's see how we can find the determinants using the calculator. Okay, so um, you press mode and matrix is number 6. So 6, then um, you press matrix A, just one matrix, so, and it is 3 by 3, that is number 1. Okay, so press 1. Okay, so then let's enter the entries or the elements of matrix A. So the first one is 2. So 2, then you press the equal to sign, followed by 1, then we press the equal to sign, then negative 2, so negative 2, then you press the equal to sign, then we are, to, we are going to the second row, so the first element there is 3, so 3 and then 3 again, then 1. Okay. Then the next one, the last row is zero. Then you press the equal to sign one and then three. Okay. Then we press AC. So for the determinant, it's a shift. The matrix is number four. So shift four. Then the determinant is number seven. Seven. So you press shift four again. So the matrix is matrix A, that is number 3. Then you press 3. Then you close brackets. So the determinant of this matrix is 1. Welcome back. We were talking of finding this, um, the value of x when the determinant of this matrix is found to be negative 37. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to choose the first row. So... 5, then if I cancel the first row and the first column, I am going to get x, this as the resulting matrix. So that is x, then 5, negative 5, 6. Then plus, minus, plus, don't forget that. So minus into brackets, negative 2. Then the square matrix resulting from Cancelling the first row and the second column is 2, net 5, 4, 6, plus 3. So when you cancel the first row, the third column will have 2x, 4, net 5. Okay, and if we are told that this is going to give us negative 37. Okay, negative 37. Okay, so 5. The parent of this becomes this and this becomes six x, then minus five negative five and negative five is positive twenty five, so minus um, twenty five, so minus twenty five. Then this is going to be plus two. Then the determinant of this one is twelve plus twenty, so twelve plus twenty. That is, this is going to be uh, negative 20. So 12 minus minus 20 is 12 plus 20. Okay. Then plus 3. So this is negative 10 minus 4x. So we are told that this should be equal to 37. Okay. And let's simplify this. So 30, that is multiplying this 30x. Then minus 5 times 25 is 125, plus 2 times 24, so this is going to be 32, so plus times 2 becomes 64. Then here will be, um, this is, we cannot just add this, so we need to expand first. So minus 30, that is 3 times negative 10, minus 12x, and this should be equal to 30, uh, negative 37, please. So negative 37. Okay. Now from here, um, we need to group like terms. So 30x minus 12x 
Negative 125, negative 125 plus 64 minus 30 should give us negative 37. Okay, I'm going to rewrite the terms here again. So 30x minus 12x minus 125 plus 64 minus 30 is equal to negative 37. Okay, so 30x minus 12x becomes 18x. So now let's look at this. Um, this is going to give us negative 91. So this is um, negative 30 plus, this becomes negative 155. Then plus 64 is negative so minus 91, negative 37. So um, 18x is equal to negative 37 plus 91. So 18x becomes 54. And then you divide both side by 18. So x is equal to 3. So it means that when you put 3 here, the determinant of this should be equal to negative 37. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at one more example. Find the determinant of the matrix B equals 1, 1, 1, 2, neck 3, 4, 3, neck 2, neck 2. Okay. So before we look at this, the determinant of this matrix, let's go for a short measure break. We'll come back. So let's see, we have a matrix A, which is. Um, the matrix A, and that is equal to this. Please, let's find the inverse of this matrix. So, we have it already. So, shift matrix, then A is number 3. So, then we use this key, x to the power negative 1. So, that is matrix A raised to the power negative 1, the matrix A inverse. Then we press the equal to sign. Then, this is the inverse of matrix A. Okay. Welcome back. Now let's look at the determinants of this matrix. Okay, so this time I want to um, choose the last row. So I'm going to work for the last row. So the determinants of B equals, I'm starting from the first, the last row, so the first column of the last row. So that is 3, and let's check the signs. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So then the corresponding square matrix is if I cancel this one and this one, I'm going to have 1, 1, then 3, 4. So plus, minus, plus, then minus negative 2. Okay, now um, let's cancel the last row and then the second column. So that is going to give us a square matrix 1, 1, 2, 4. Okay, so I am cancel, canceling this one and then this one. So 1, 1, 2, 4. So plus, I am choosing this again, negative 2. The corresponding square matrix is that is, I am going to cancel this one and this one. So I have only the square matrix here. So 1, 1, 2, net 3. Okay. Okay. So 3, this is going to give me 4. 4 minus, this is negative 3. That is 1 times 4 is 4 minus negative 3 times 1 becomes plus 3. Okay. Then this is plus 2 into brackets. 1 times 4 is 4 minus 2 times 1 is 2. Okay. Then this is going to be minus 2 into brackets. This is negative 3 minus 2. Okay, now this is going to give me 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Then this is going to give me 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 21 plus 4. Then this is also going to give me um, 5, negative 5. So negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. So this is going to be 35. Okay. 
So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel. Comment as well with new topics. Okay, thank you. We'll meet in the next lesson. Bye.